Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from windingroadcrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful blanket. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. For this project, we just need a 9mm or size M or N crochet hook. We're going to need a yarn needle, scissors, and we're using a super bulky or a size 6 yarn. And actually, the skein I'm using is the Karen Chunky Cakes Anniversary Skein. And it's super big. I did this in a little over half of the skein. But you will need more if you're using the smaller skeins. You can find out exactly how much yarn you need depending on what size you're making down in the description box below. I'm going to provide instructions for how to make this in eight different sizes. So to find out more about those sizes and the yarn you need, you can also check out the written instructions on my website. To get started, we are going to make a slip knot and insert our hook. Now we will begin chaining and how many you chain will depend on the size of the blanket you're making. As long as you chain an odd number of chain, your blanket will turn out just fine, but I will put some suggestions on the side of the screen so you can decide how many you need to make for a certain size blanket. For this example, I'm actually going to be making a doll size blanket, but the process will be exactly the same as if we were making a larger blanket. Also, if you want your blanket to turn out the correct size, make sure to check your gauge. Once you've chained the appropriate number for your size blanket, we are going to stop and single crochet into the second chain from the hook. I am going to work into the back bumps because we are working the border as we work the entire blanket, and this will be our finished edge. If you're a beginner and working into these back bumps is difficult, you can always work into the chain whichever way is simplest for you. When you complete row 1, we are ready to start row 2. And row 2 is very similar. We're going to chain 1 and turn. And we are going to single crochet in each stitch across, but this time we're going to work in the back loops only. This will give us a pretty ribbed texture. So we're going to go down the center of the top of the stitch, out the back so that only one loop is over our hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and complete your single crochet. Now repeat this, only working into the back loop of the previous single crochet. And you'll do this all the way across. When you reach the end of row two, we are going to now repeat row two so we'll chain one and turn and single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch across. You want to continue repeating row two until you have a total of 10 rows worked. This will be the bottom border of our blanket. So here I'm just finishing up my 10th row. And now for the 11th row in the very middle of our blanket, we're going to begin the row by working nine stitches as the border. So we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to work the first nine stitches as single crochet in the back loop only. Once we complete those first nine stitches, now we're going to begin our stitch pattern for our texture in the middle. So we're going to be working normal stitches. We're going to work a single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. Now we are going to skip a stitch and repeat the process, working a single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. Skip a stitch again and repeat single crochet and double crochet and you'll continue repeating this all the way across your row until you only have nine stitches left. How many times you repeat it will depend on what size blanket you are making. When you make it to the last nine stitches, 
Don't forget to skip that last stitch and then you'll begin to work single crochets in the back loop only of the last nine stitches. This is the other side of our blanket border. When you reach the end of this row, we are just going to repeat row 11 as many times as you need for your size blanket. So I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to single crochet in the back loop only of the first nine stitches. When I have those nine stitches complete, we're going to begin our texture pattern in the center. In the top of the double crochet of the previous row, we are going to work a single crochet and then a double crochet into the same stitch. Then we will skip the single crochet of the previous row and repeat working a single crochet, then a double crochet into the top of a double crochet of the previous row. Skip a stitch, single crochet, double crochet, and repeat this all the way down your blanket until you only have nine stitches left. When you reach your last nine stitches, don't forget to skip the last stitch and work a back loop only single crochet in the last nine stitches. Now you will continue repeating row 11 until your blanket is roughly four inches shorter than you would like it to be. I'll put up the recommended row count for the different size blankets. So once you've finished your rows of texture and you're roughly four inches from where you are ready to finish off your blanket, now we're going to work the top border. So what we will do is chain one and turn. We are going to back loop only single crochet into the first nine stitches. Once you work the first nine stitches, now we are going to work normal single crochets in each stitch across just to smooth out the top of our blanket. And you'll continue working normal single crochets until you reach the last nine stitches of the row. When you make it to the last nine stitches, we are just going to work these last nine stitches in the back loop only. So back loop, single crochet in the last nine stitches. When you reach the end of the row, we are just going to chain one and turn. And now for this row, we are going to back loop only single crochet in every stitch across just like we did on the bottom border. So working into the back loop only, we'll do it on every single stitch across. When you finish your row, now we are going to repeat the top border row two until we have a total of 10 rows worked in the back loop only. So we're going to chain one and turn we are going to single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch across. So we work the one row that evened out the center of our blanket and then we are working 10 rows in the back loop only to finish up our top border. So just continue repeating this top border row two until you have a total of 10 rows worked in the back loop only. So here you have it. I have worked 10 rows in the back loop only. And so my blanket is done and you can see I have a beautiful ribbed border all the way around my texture. So to finish off, I am just going to clip my thread, leaving enough to weave in my end, so about six inches or more. Yarn over and pull that through the last loop. And then all I have to do is weave in my ends. 
So I'm going to take my yarn needle. I'm using a plastic one that has a really big eye. And then I'm just going to take my thread and weave it under a few stitches. And it's important to weave your yarn end back and forth at least three times because as a blanket this will most likely get washed and you don't want those yarn ends to come out in the wash. So there's a second time and then here is my third time weaving in my yarn end. So there you go, just weave in any yarn ends that you have and your blanket is complete. So I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. And as always, thank you so much for watching.